Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna be checking out these, the Newton Gravity. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. How are we all doing? Let me know in the comments. Now, you know I like to try something a little bit different on the channel. Um, and this video, we're trying out the Newton Gravity. Now, I was swayed towards trying these by somebody who likes a minimalistic, low um, heel drop. And they said, Fully, have you tried the um, Newton shoes? The technology on there is something different, but I think it would be interesting for you to try them and see how you got on. So I went online and I grabbed a pair and I've been trying them out. Now, I'm going to get into some of the stats and some of the features and explain, or hopefully explain about the shoe and what the tech is and all that, and then come on to how it feels. So firstly, price, I think from memory, actually I'll check my nose, this was about 140, 150 pounds. You've got the um, technology in this, right? So Newton's mission is to be the world's leader in, new, in natural running shoe technology and form. Now this shoe features a full foot Newtonium cushioned midsole. Cushion lugs in the forefoot and heel provide full foot cushion protection. And you know, I'm gonna say this can totally wrong. Uh, basically you've got some um, shock absorbent there when you strike down, the, uh, uh, so it's relieving stress on the joints and reducing fatigue. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. I know I'm not making much sense. Working in tandem with the uh, Newtonium cushioned midsole is the action reaction technology providing exceptional energy return. Generated by the active movement of the cushioned lugs, the active reactive technology creates a trampoline-like effect responsive, um, responding to your en every step with a quicker bounce back for effective, highly responsive energy return. It's got a three mil drop, 9.1 ounces, anti-micro, um, whatever you call it, sock liner, and it's got a very, very breathable mesh upper. Now we're gonna do the torch test. Now I know some of that was probably um, gobbledygook, uh, and I wasn't making much sense because I was reading it, but I will show you what I was trying to um, talk about. Torch test, torch test, see it? It's pretty good. Um, firstly, these fits true to size, uh, nice and wide, plenty of width in there. Um, nice little bit of nice, I keep saying nice, but plenty of foam around the, the heel to keep you um, comfortable. Tongue's great, lacing's cool. Uh, you obviously can put a runner's knot in there. That's about it, you've got some overlays on the front, but anyway, that's not what we're here for. This is shoot is about something, and it's these. So these are the lugs, this is the technology. So the idea is, is that you're um, hitting this part, you're getting the energy return and you're getting it from the uh, midsole and that combining together. So your foot strike is here and then you're getting a much better energy return foot, uh, from your foot strike. That is the idea. It's a, it's a very interesting feel when you start. What it felt like when I first started in these shoes was like, you know, <laughs> You know when you go, oh, maybe you don't, but cycling and you get those uh, shoes that clip into the pedals. It felt like I was walking around on them to start with. Can you see, I don't know why I've shut my eye, but basically you can see the lugs sticking down. But what I found was when I was running along, it was promoting a more forward foot strike. Um, I felt really um, conscious of the fact that I was striking here. And I really felt like I was getting a movement like that off of, well, it must be off of here. Um, it's quite interesting how these are sort of aligned uh, to your foot. 
so they're not just like going across they're shaped in a specific way to make the most of that energy return from that foot strike um but yeah it it it, it really it was a really interesting ride it felt now i've run in ultra shoes which are a zero drop shoe and this has only got a three mil drop shoe so um i'm kind of been there seen it done in terms of lesser drop um in my shoes and i really do like a lesser drop in my shoes I, I, you know for example a ghost 13's got like a 12 mil drop it's okay i like the shoe uh, the gtx version but i do prefer um on my sort of shorter uh, runs i was gonna say uh, easier pace runs but like my shorter runs where i'm just eating up miles i do prefer a shoe with a lesser drop even like an evo ride which has got like a, a five mil drop uh, and i'm going to put it in the video glide ride five mil drop uh, anyway so this has got three mil drop but it, i just felt that when i was hitting this i was getting and maybe I'm, I'm imagining it but it was just promoting more of a more of a foot strike forward foot strike than i was maybe maybe used to in some of my other shoes where i do you know get lazy and i come back a little bit here it, it was noticeable how much i was coming off the front i wouldn't necessarily say i was feeling any particular pace uh coming from the shoe um i felt free to be able to run at pace i, I didn't feel like uh it was slowing me down or i didn't feel uh it just felt natural and maybe that's the whole idea of it i mean you know they say on, on here you know world's leader in natural running shoe and to be fair to me it, it did feel natural it just I was just kicking along and I was able to, you know, to strike it up on my feet where I, where I felt I was getting the, the most out of my stride uh, out, out, and my gait was, you know, good. It was natural. It felt comfortable. It felt easy. Um, and I think the shoe was promoting that. So I've got to give it credit. Um, I don't think this is going to be for everybody. I think this is, you know, a bit geeky. Um, somebody who wants to try something different. Maybe somebody who wants to go down to a zero drop shoe or, or you know, go that way to more and more of a natural running style. Um, this is probably something to try, in particularly with the technology that's in the shoe. I think you'll get uh, a nice, pleasant surprise out of it. Um, ultra shoes are definitely worth trying as well in terms of if you're going that way. But yeah, I'm, I, I was kind of impressed with it, actually. I, I was not, um, I was kind of sceptical about it. Uh, and maybe I'm fairly so. Um, before I put them on and then when I first ran in them, I thought this is this is weird. Um, but actually, the more I've run in it, the more I kind of dig it. Um, but like I said, I don't think it's for everyone. But I would recommend you try them out if you're looking for something to transition to a lower drop, to transition to a, a transition to a more natural foot strike, um, and you're looking for something in terms of energy return out of that, so you don't feel like you're just hitting the pavement hard. Then I would try um the Newton running shoes but yeah it's, it's kind of opened my eyes up a little bit to something a little bit more natural and a little bit more different 